Hey guys, Jamie here from runup.ca and today I'm going to try to give you a few tips, uh, basic tips on how to use the GPS to get you back home. So in this plane here we've got a Garmin 430 and as you can see it's dark out and visibility is not good at night. So we are in northern Ontario, we're just north of uh, the Sault Ste. Marie airport but we don't really know where. And we need to get back home and that's where we're going, back to the Sault Ste. Marie Airport. So what we're gonna do is we're going to open up our Garmin 430 here. And on the right hand side of the Garmin 430, we're gonna turn the big knob. What we're looking for is nearest. You can see that at the bottom. So in this list, we see that CYAM, which is Sault Ste. Marie is already on this list, so that's great. If it wasn't there and you couldn't find it, you could always punch it in manually. So we're gonna choose that. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit the direct to button. It's the D with the arrow through it. So we hit direct to, it asks us to activate, and we hit enter. All right, so now what we have at the top, you can see that there's a little line there moving back and forth. That's the CDI on the GPS. You probably learned about this with the ORs. So, if we move our eyes down a little bit here, we can see uh, 18.5. That's our distance from Sault Ste. Marie. DTK is our desired track from where we press the button. Bearing is where the airport is based on our position. All right, because we're deviating from our desired track, which is where we press the button. I'll talk a little bit more about bearing in a second. Our ground speed is 104 knots. Our track across the ground currently is 073. And our estimated time en route is 11 minutes and seven seconds. So what we want to do right now is we want to get this airplane turned around to about 218, 218, is basically what we want to fly. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So there we go, we're turning around the plane here. At the top of the GPS unit here, you can see a 1.3 on the CDI meter there. Now it says 1.4. So 1.5 nautical miles off course is what we are right now. 1.6, it's getting worse, 1.7. Well, we're coming back in here. So we're getting the plane turned around. All right, so we got a little bit off our desired track there, but that doesn't mean we just can't redo it. So what we can do is we can again just go to nearest and press the direct to button, activate. Oh, now we're right on course again, and what we want to fly is 224. And our current track is 230. And as you can see, the course deviation needle there is a little bit left of our track. So we want to start flying, start turning the plane back towards the left and re-intercept that desired track. So you can see our track across the ground now is 223, so we're flying a little bit left if we look at our course deviation indicator, but we are going to be, we are trying to re-intercept that desired track. All right, so you can see our distance here, 17.3, 17.2, we are getting closer and it looks like we're going to be nine minutes on route here. I'm just going to speed the plane a little bit up here to get there a little bit faster. You can also see where there's a CD bu CDI button over here. You can see it's on GPS, which is where we want it.
can see we're right on track here. Our desired track is 224 from where we press the direct to button. Our track across the ground is 224, which is what we want. And our bearing, well, let's just change to 223. So that means we're deviating a little bit to the right of track. So we need to just turn the plane a little bit to the left here, which is going to be about 223. Just to make sure that we keep that CDI needle centered at the very top. We could have some sort of a crosswind that's blowing us a little bit off track. So Sault Ste. Marie is a class D control zone. So we'd want to make sure we made radio contact before we entered the control zone. And the purpose of this video isn't to teach you about control zones or class D airspace. It's, it's basically just to teach you a little bit about the GPS and how you can use it to get you back home. So you can see our desired track and our actual track across the ground are exactly the same right now. And our bearings the same too, which is perfect. Ground speed of 120 knots. 11.8 nautical miles away from the airport and it looks like we've got another five minutes and oh, 45 seconds until we arrive at Sault Ste. Marie. So let's have a look here. We'll see what we can see at the front of the plane. Oh, look at that, straight ahead of us there. You can see the runway lights, straight ahead. So it looks like we're going in the right direction. So you can see it looks like we found the airport here. And it is a control zone, so you should have been talking to the controller uh, if it's during active hours. So there you have it. That's how you use the Garmin 430 GPS. Uh, basically, just a basic function to uh, get you back home. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them uh, below. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Thanks for watching.